Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to notification game for hitting the like button. And if it don't even start yet, y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Shout out to the Pivot Podcast, man. I've done a few reactions to their channel. I'll make sure to tag their channel and leave the link to the full interview, assuming that it's already out. Um, I haven't seen this video yet. Uh, I've, I've seen posts about it, and everybody's been talking about how Gail King um, loaned a dude some money and she got turned off by it. So we're we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go into it. I have questions. First of all, did he give you the money back? Number one. Um, no, number two, like what how close were y'all at dating? Like were you like was this dude like an actual boyfriend? Was this a random dude that you were dating? Um, but I would assume that you felt some type of closeness or comfortable being comfortable to him to be able to loan him that amount of money. You know what I'm saying? Whether you got it like that or not, it doesn't even matter. It's just the fact that you don't really loan randoms like that. Like you know what I'm saying? So uh, but again, like I said, I haven't seen or I don't know too much about it. So let, let's get into it, y'all, because I, I got to hear. I got questions in my mind. God, I would have felt better if he had said $40,000. <laughs> <laughs> you look one of your purse. Here you go. Here you go. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't carry cash. <laughs> you just asked you to cash app him, no. Huh? You just could have cash app him, no. I know, guys, but I was so crushed because here's somebody who was making, you know, six figures, successful. And when I said, you know, could I ask what it's for? He said, yeah, it was for... Uh, a child support issue and to pay uh, a payment on some furniture. And Oprah goes, oh God, this is just getting worse. <laughs> and I said, okay. And he said, you know, this was Sunday. And he said, I promise I'll pay you back by Thursday. I promise I'll pay you back by Thursday. Okay. But I wrote it. I wrote it because I thought it had, it had to be very difficult for him to ask me. And so I wrote it and I just figured that would be that. That would be that. And he did pay me back on Thursday, but I didn't feel the same. I, I didn't yeah. feel the same. I didn't feel the same. But he did. So, so he paid. So he paid you back, bro. So he paid you back. This is this is why I, I, I try not to like sit there and go off of what dumbass people are saying in the comment section because I, th th that was the first thing that popped in my mind. Not one person. I'm downloading the video and I'm scrolling through the comment section as the video is downloading just to get like a brief synopsis of what of what just transpired in this video. Not one down. And it was but it was flooded with women. Number one. But now one woman said, hey, well, he paid you back. Like, what's the problem? That's why I said at the beginning of this goddamn video, you felt comfortable enough to write this man a goddamn check or cash or whatever it was. I, I mean, what's up? Let's keep going. I, you know. Uh, you said this man was making a decent amount of money, six figures. He had problems with his child support. He had problems owing some money on furniture, whatever the goddamn case may be. He was a, a dude breaking six figures. And I love, that's why I love when women talk about, oh, he got to be making six figures. As if men that make six figures don't experience hardships too. He, it's, she said it was Sunday. He said he was going to give it back to her on Thursday, assuming that's when the time he gets paid. Uh, okay, cool. Say less. You wrote the check. He gave the money back to you within four days' time. It's on time. He promised you he was going to give it to you on Thursday. He gave it to you on Thursday. What is the problem? People fall on hardships Every single day, doctors, lawyers, attorneys, goddamn electrician, people that's making this clearing 200, 300,000 goddamn dollars. What is the problem? I don't understand. And the fact that he came at you, the woman that I'm, I'm assuming y'all was dating or something like that, the woman that he was dating, the fact that he came at you and asked you for that type of money, I know that had to put him in a chokehold. I know they had to put him in a goddamn bind because the average man is not going to be sitting here feeling that goddamn comfortable to be asking a woman, let alone his woman, for any goddamn amount of money. Does this man get some type of a pass? Are you going to give him some type of leeway for a damn paying you back on time? Did he give it to you in payments? Was it partial? I'm a, she would have said it. I'm sure she would have said it. But these are the things, fellas, that men have to go through, fellas. And how many times have we heard women? I can't even begin to tell y'all. I, I can't count on my toes or my fingers. I cannot count how many women have asked me, first of all, to borrow or to just give them money. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've lended my homegirl money. I can't begin to tell you. Some of my homegirls still to this day owe me money. 
but it's all love because I know them. Like these are chicks that I grew up with, chicks that I knew since I was like in middle school, high school. These are women that I, that that that's really near and dear to me, like that. You get what I'm saying? So yes, it's like let that shoe have been on the other goddamn foot. A man would have just charged into the game, assuming she didn't give him uh, give him the money back. But these are the things that could pop. Man, let's keep going. My bad. I, I did not mean to monologue that long. I'm so sorry. It, you know, to his credit, paid me back on Thursday, but it just, it just changed the relationship for me. It changed the relationship for me. So in answer to your question, is it difficult to date? Yes, I think so, because I really am attracted to uh, men of color. I just am. I love how a black man says another baby. <laughs> Nobody says it like y'all. Right, like, and I know you'll beep it out. I know I you'll beep really, it out. I don't really say it well, huh? <laughs> you know, he doesn't cuss good at all. Yeah, every time he cusses, I'll be like, you making us look better. No, 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 it's just the way that it's said. I don't even know how to explain it to you. Like, how, they, how, how do they say it? I can't, I can't do it. I like, can't do that's it. my motherfucking baby? No, no, no. When they call like, you baby. Like, oh, hey, baby. Like, hey, baby. Yeah, I love how they say, hey, baby. Dang, it's what's two, your, what's it's, your hey, baby? It's two separate things. It's not baby. It's two separate things. I love how they say, hey, baby, how you doing? Ah. It's different. It is different. And then how they just say, it could be a term of endearment. <laughs> It Thank you. A, it could be a term of endearment, yeah. or it could be I'm really. Shout out to the Pivot, man. Shout out to the Pivot podcast. Um, excellent, excellent show. A bunch of retired uh, athletes that came together and create this amazing podcast channel. Shout out to shout out to y'all, man. Um, and shout out to Gail King, someone that's been doing this for for years. You know what I mean? Um, she's the one. If I'm not mistaken, she's the one who interviewed R. Kelly after after that whole scandal came out. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm almost certain she was the one who who interviewed R. Kelly, the first one. I should say the interview after all that crap had had uh, had, uh, had happened to him. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she was the one, first one. My whole thing is, ma'am, again, and and you are entitled to your own feelings. Let me just say that she said she said she didn't feel the same after he gave the money back. Well. I will have to go back and watch this full interview, right? Uh, I already, I already saved it to my watch later, so it's 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 going to it's going to happen. Um, but I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, well, what was it about that that made you not view him the same anymore? Was it the fact that he asked you for the money? Was it the fact that he paid you back on time? Was it the fact that he had child support issues? Was it the fact that he had, um, you know, uh. Uh, what, 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 what was it? He had uh, furniture issues. I gotta give her well, respect where, where 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 it's due. She said she likes she prefers men of color. Hey, ma'am, we love you. <laughs> we prefer women of color. You know what I'm saying? Uh, o over here, or at least I do. Let me let me say it for me. Uh, at least I do. But what about him that really turned you off? Was it just only the fact that the man asked you for money or was it all of the above? Because if you were to ask me, I, I would go so far as to say, oh, okay, I guess it was probably about the fact that um, he asked you for money, he's having child support issues, all this, that, and a third. So, um, but I mean, yeah, shout, shout, out, shout, out to, shout out to the Paper Podcast, man. Um, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, be safe, Erica.